Uh, I am Abidin Kusno. Uh, I am I'm a retired director uh, of your Center for Asian Research. Uh, and I want to welcome you all to our event, uh, Visual Art for uh, Peace Activism and Transnational uh, Solidarity. Uh, let me start with uh, land ac acknowledgement. And I'm using uh, the version that your university is using. Uh, I'm mindful of the fact that we are in different places. Uh, the point is to acknowledge that our conversations take place on lands of people from whom they have been taken. Uh, and so intention is always to provide a space for conversations and reflections on the struggles of the dispossess. So uh, let me start. York University acknowledges its presence on the traditional territory of many indigenous nations. The area known as Takarunto has been caretaken by, by the Anishinaabek Nation, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron Wendat. It is now home to many First Nations, Inuit and Metis communities. We acknowledge the current treaty holders, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. This territory is subject of the This with One Spoon, One Pum Belt Covenant, an agreement to peacefully share and care for the Great Lakes region. Uh, thank you. So uh, today's event, uh, the visual art for peace activism and transnational solidarity. Uh, is held in conjunction uh, with an ongoing exhibition in Gallery 1313 in downtown uh, Toronto. I, I believe there were already artist talks and performances uh, a few days ago in the gallery. But tonight's event, uh, organized by organized by WICA, seeks to give more opportunity for academic audience to participate. Uh, in, in the conversation. And I want to thank uh, Professor Hong Kal for organizing this event. I also want to thank uh, Kim Seo Kyung, Kim Yun Sung, and Dr. Fiki Sung Yon Kwong for serving as uh, speakers and panelists uh, for this event. And I want to thank Waika, especially its coordinator, Alicia Filipovic, for all of her supports. And thanks once again uh, to all of you who are attending uh, this event uh, today. I wish you all have a good talk, good discussions. So let me now uh, turn this forum over to Hong Kong, uh, who will introduce the speakers and also moderate uh, the discussion. Uh, over to you, Hong. Okay, thank you. I'm, I'm Hong Kiao. I'm a associate professor teaching in the Department of Visual Art and Art History uh, at York University. Um, um, okay, uh, uh, can I uh, use the, uh, uh, the share screen? It should work, Hong. Sure. Okay, uh, let me briefly introduce uh, today's speaker, uh, uh, artists Kim so Byung and Kim Eun Sung, uh, uh, who cannot uh, join today. They have participated in social activism through their artwork that uh, deal with historical and social injustice, especially the violation of women's human rights. They are widely known for the statue of the girl of peace, which represent victims of the so-called comfort women, a, a, a term they refer to women who were forced into slavery for the Imperial Japanese Army from the early 1930s to 1945. Numerous and various versions of the peace statue were built in Korea and abroad and became a symbol of international solidarity Against violence, uh, against violence against the women, and this is the exhibition poster which is ongoing. 
And then we have a, a speaker, uh, Vicky. Uh, we have a, a, a speaker uh, by uh, as well, uh, Vicky Song Young Kwan. Uh, she's a curator and art historian. He recently uh, received a PhD from the University of Alberta. And her research has examined socially engaged art, focusing on the representation of victims of wartime atrocity, uh, migrant workers, and ethnic minorities in East Asia. And currently, she's a postdoc fellow at uh, the Seoul National University in uh, Korea. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for introduction, um, Professor Kyle. And thank you for YCAR for holding this event. Um, I researched and published articles on um, Kim Seokyeong and Kim Eun-sung's artworks uh, in two research papers, and I uh, they were also became part of my PhD dissertation. So I'm very happy to have this opportunity to introduce Kim Seokyeong and uh, share my research. Um, Kim Seokyeong and Kim Eun-sung's bronze statue, Pyeongwai Sonyeosang. Um, we in Korean we call Sonyeosang simply Sonyeosang, meaning a girl statue. And we, um, there, another statue, Vietnam Pieta, became, um, played pivotal roles in grassroots activism in uh, South Korea, asking for official apology from wartime sexual violence or wartime atrocities. And can, um, uh, there are another statue, Vietnam Pieta, is created as a remembrance and a gesture of apology for South Korean soldiers, civilian massacres and sexual violence against Vietnam women during the Vietnam War. So today's talk, I'm going to uh, focus more on Son Yeosang and briefly introduce the historical backgrounds of the statue and how Kim Seokyeong and Kim Eun-sung uh, use their work and how these works contributed to the grassroots activism, generating solidarity with victims of sexual violence. I'm sure that you are all familiar with this statue, this uh, bronze statue of a barefoot girl sitting on a chair dressed in a tire of colonial period of Korea. Um, the term comfort women, uh, Professor um, Kyle explained shortly, it refers to the women who were forced into sexual slavery for the Imperial Japanese Army from the early 1930s to 1940s, uh, 1945 during the Asia Pacific War. And more than 80% of them were Korean, but there were also Japanese women, Chinese, Filipina, Indonesian and even Dutch women, the later uh, the Dutch woman from the Dutch colony of Indonesia. And most of them were sent to what were named comfort stations, which were various forms of military brothels at the front line of military camps or logistics town in China, Burma and Indonesia. Um, the term served uh, the term yanfu in Japanese and wianfu in Korean, the comfort woman in English. The term originally referred to the Japanese women who served in military brothels, but later the term was applied to those women taken from Japan's colonies and uh, to supply the demand for military brothels and prevent soldiers from raping civilians. And there are many evidence and survivors' testimonies that prove that these many of these women were forcefully or deceitfully taken into uh, the comfort stations against their own wills. Since Kim Ak Soon here uh, made the first testimony as a survivor of comfort woman in 1991, activists and survivors made a series of demands for the Japanese government to make official apology. And they have held Wednesday protests, a protest that ha uh, held weekly across the street from Japanese embassy in Seoul since 1992, calling for the Japanese government to apologize for its use of military sexual slavery. The Wednesday protest is still taking place 
every Wednesday in Seoul at noon. And as you see here, this is from the 700th Wednesday protest, and the survivors are holding those pickets, meaning uh, legal reparations and uh, re uh, investigate the truth and the war crimes. And this is the photo from the 1000th Wednesday protest when the Sonia Sang was installed and the survivors were now uh, past uh, Kim Bok Dong and Kim Ok, they are holding, they are hugging the statue in protest. So this, uh, the statue was created, created as a memorial for the 1000th Wednesday protest installed on the protest site and it became the symbol of the comfort women and their activism. And multiple casts of the statue have been installed in and out of Korea and they provoke uh, support from Korean citizens but also backlash from the Japanese government. So what is making this um, the story, history of comfort women complicated? There are two main things I categorized here. One is history revisionism, and the second is contested memories or contested claims of apology between Japan and Korea. Um, the issue of comfort women has been exacerbated as history revisionists and ultra-nationalist politicians continue to deny Japan's state involvement in the comfort women system. And making the comfort women out to be paid prostitutes takes up a significant part of the discussions by history revisionists. And such history revisionism um, has been exacerbated in the past 20 years by being interrelated to the two countries' territorial disputes over Dokdo Island or Takeshima Island and East Sea versus Sea of Japan. And these issues are originating from the colonial relationship of the two nations. But this history revisionism is not only the tendency in Japan and Korea, but it's actually a global tendency taking place in Germany, Russia, and many other places. And the problem of the, um, there is also issue of apology between Japan and Korea. While many Koreans believe that Japan never delivered an apology, many Japanese politicians and citizens contend that Japan has already made an apology and paid enough compensation. So they are calling that South Korea is still demanding apology, asking for monetary compensation. Such claims are based on the 1965 agreement between South Korea and Japan, the 1993 Kono Statement, the 1995 Murayama Statement, and the Asian Women's Fund, which was established as a result of the Murayama Statement in 1995. But when we actually point uh, out one by one, there, the ton there are many faults in these claims. The 1965 agreement was made to normalize the relationship between Korea and Japan, the former colony and the colonizer nation. And then the thing is, um, this agreement, however, excluded the comfort woman as their, presen their presence was not even officially acknowledged until 1991. And as for the Kono statement and Murayama statement, Many Korean comfort women survivors did not accept their apology as real apology because this statement did not clarify the Japanese imperial state's involvement in the statements. And subsequently, there was no trial of those responsible and no legal reparation followed. The Asian Women's Fund was um, uh, this was fund raised by Japanese citizens to compensate the survivors. It was a combination of private donations and funds provided by the Japanese government. And uh, the Asian Women's Fund offered to provide each survivor with one-time lump sum of atonement money of uh, approximately uh, 20,000 US dollars at the time with medical support and a letter of apology, welfare. Um, the thing is that this many Korean survivors and activist group, the Korean Council for Justice and Remembrance for the Issues of Military Sexual Slavery by Japan, they did not accept Asian Women's Fund because 
a private donation is not equivalent as uh, it's not equivalent to legal reparation resulting from a trial after official investigation. So Japanese politicians have used the phrase humanitarian compensation, emphasizing that the money given to the former comfort woman is a donation made in sympathy for their pain, not from responsibility grounded in acknowledging the involvement of the Japanese state. So uh, there is a uh, difference between the compensation and legal reparation, posang and pesang, which I uh, explain more in my paper in a lot of detail. And so what Korean comfort women survivors want, they want apology in, in this way, acknowledge the war crime, investigate the truth and make official apology from Japanese prime ministers, restore the victim's dignity through trials and reparation, punish those responsible, record in the history textbook and establish a memorial stone or memorial statue and history museum to teach uh, young students, the next generation, so that uh, the wartime sexual violence can be stopped. So they're very specific and that this um, is not uh, the, the apology given by Japan is not following what they want, but it's considered more as a uh, apology to uh, get rid of the, this, this uh, con controversy. So let's come back to Sonia Sang. Sonia Sang became central in this controversy after it was unveiled in 2011. The statue became a symbol of the comfort woman. And uh, when Japanese government requested the South Korean government to remove the statue from the Japanese embassy in Seoul, artists Kim so and Kim Yun-sung and activists started to install additional statues abroad and within Korea as an act of resistance. For example, the one in Glendale in California and the one in Toronto. And uh, these statues actually created more uh, controversies in uh, the local um, community, local Japanese community and the Japanese government and extremists asking the cities to uh, deinstall the statue. So concerned about Japan's public image in the international arena, the Japanese government and overseas communities, Japanese communities made diplomatic threats and brought lawsuits against the cities of Glendale and Burnaby in British Columbia. Um, so therefore the uh, statue, which was supposed to go to Burnaby uh, in Canada, it came to Ontario, Toronto, and now this statue is installed uh, in Toronto in front of the Korean community building. In this backdrop, the 2015 Japan-South Korea Comfort Woman Agreement was secretly made by the foreign ministers of both governments, uh, Yoon Byung-se in the left and Kishida Fumio in the right, who now became the prime minister of Japan. They promised a 1 billion yen, which is about $8.3 million USD, um, from the Japanese government to the South Korean government to establish the foundation for reconciliation and healing to support the survivors. In return, the South Korean government agreed to strive to solve the issue in appropriate manner and remove the statue built in front of the embassy of Japan in Seoul. Uh, Kishida Fumio read a statement that uh, the prime Minister of Japan, uh, back then it's Abe Shinjo, expresses sincere apologies and remorses from the bottom of his heart to all those who suffer, suffer from immeasurable pain. But immediately after the agreement, Kishida clarified that the money was not a national reparation, but a compensation for recovering the honor and dignity and healing of the psychological wounds of all former comfort women. So he added that Japan has no responsibility as the issue is finally resolved. So what um, they also emphasize humanitarian sympathy again. While Kishida's statement sounded as if the prime minister of Japan, Abe Shinjo, was making an apology, it was offering a donation to once more silence the victims. 
So many Korean citizens um, come from women survivors and the Korean consul found this apology as a fake apology, a trick to avoid the issue. Um, so th this agreement provoked dismay of the survivors, activists, and many citizens. So um, there were movement among the citizens, Korean citizens, to reject Japan's one billion yen and the foundation for reconciliation and healing. Kim so and Kim Eun sung produced and sold 3D printed Sonia Sang miniatures online to raise the fund to establish the foundation for justice and remembrance with supports of surviving Korean self-comfort women and the funds raised from Korean citizens. And there are these girls who are uh, sitting around Sonia sang are called Sonia sang Jikimi, Sonia sang protectors. They were, uh, they are keeping the statue from being uh, displaced by the government force. And, and then more statues were being installed abroad. And there are uh, overseas Korean, um, Korean uh, diasporic citizens abroad, they are they performed leaving Sonia Sang as a uh, resistance, as a protest again okay, of this um, uh, agreement. Um, a prominent tendency in the Sonia Sang phenomenon is the public participation in the activism, generating solidarity among the silenced victims of um, sexual violence, activists, and public participants. This is um, this was earlier than this uh, agreement, but it was made by a Japanese artist, Shimada Yoshiko, who performed as a statue of Japanese comfort woman, raising the issues to be part of Japanese women's issues too. And she dressed like uh, Sonia san the, uh, the girl in the statue. And then she uh, sat in front of the Japanese embassy in uh, London, UK. So there are many people participating in this activism. The activism has involved uh, empowering women through a series of actions by the participants, including protection of the statue, creating and disseminating of replicas of the statue, and making relative activities surrounding the statue, demonstrating the efficacy of art in cultural activism. And there, so in my paper, I talked about how this statue became the social phenomenon and in relation to the, uh, that issue during the time around 2015 related to increased misogyny and the emergence of new wave feminism in South Korea, which is named rebooted feminism or feminism reboot in 2015 and how these participant uh, uh, interactions with the statue were creating kind of a theatrical or a ritualistic experience to those visitors who came to join the activism and making kind of uh, interactions with the survivors who were protesting around the statue. Um, did I go over time? That is okay. That's okay. Okay. So let me just briefly explain uh, their Vietnam Pieta. So the artists also created Vietnam Pieta, which was created as a gesture of apology to uh, the victims of civilian massacres and sexual violence committed by South Korean soldiers during the Vietnam War. And they installed one in South Korea, one on Jeju Island, and sent one miniature statue to, so there's a bug in my room, uh, uh, sent one statue to Da Nang Museum in Vietnam and installed another one at the War and Women's Human Rights Museum in Seoul. The original title was um, meaning the last lullaby for nameless babies because Kim Seo Kyung was inspired by um, uh, the story of Binhua massacre when those 
babies were not even given a name. Like at the age of zero, they were uh, inscribed in the Stone of Fury, which was uh, installed by the um, village residents, village survivors after the massacre in Binhua. There are numerous, uh, there are many babies who were killed when their names were even given. So they, uh, Kim so created this statue and tried their effort to deliver those miniature statue to Vietnam and then install one full size statue in South Korea because um, installing one in South Korea was also important because the apology should be discussed and the discourse should be made within Korea first. And then, uh, uh, delivered apology to Vietnam. There were many um, struggles behind sending the statue to Vietnam, and um, the, the more stories are in my paper. And um, what I want to emphasize is that their stat, uh, the their activism using the statues are to um, uh, are to make. Uh, acknowledging Korea's dark history as well. It's not simply demanding apology from Japan, and it's not about anti, uh, provoking anti-Japanese sentiment. This is more about um, acknowledging our dark history, and then and then acknowledge the war crimes, and then apologize, move forward, and prevent wartime sexual violence. So. Um, apologies for wartime atrocities have been demanded, issued, and rejected between Japan and Korea, and between Korea and Vietnam, and created and installed in close collaboration with ac activists. Works by Kim so -kyung and Kim eun -sung stand as a call for state apology for wartime atrocities. Kim so -kyung and Kim eun -sung show how art can be a symbol and strategy of intervention in international politics, where each nation prioritizes its own political agendas and trades apologies for the normalization of transnational relationship. They use their sculptures, Pyeongwai Sonia Sang and Vietnam Pieta, to raise awareness and provoke audience action, that is, to join transnational activities bring attention to state-sanctioned sexual violence and call for apology. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Guan. And okay, then uh, let's have uh, Kim so -kyung. Uh Are you ready? PowerPoint share 해주세요. 어 지금 소리가 잘안 들려서 저한테 한 소린가요? 예. 아 그래요? 소리가 잘안 들렸어요. 음. 선생님들 시작하시면 돼요. 네. 네. 어 안녕하세요. 저는 아 포인트 틀고 예, 말씀드리겠습니다. 어 저는 김은성 작가와 어 제가 평화의 소연상을 만들었는데 지금 김은성 작가는 지금 어 비행기 하나 있어서 어 같이 할, 할 수가 없었습니다. 반갑습니다. 통역을 해 주실 거예요. So, yes, I will be translating. So uh, this is Kim so and I made uh, I made sorry, I, this is not me. I it's Kim so I'm translating Kim so -kyung. Okay, so this is Kim Seo-kyung and I made the statue of Comfort Woman for Peace, Pyeongwai Sonia Sang. I and uh, my husband Kim Eun-sung made them together. And unfortunately, Kim Eun-sung is not here because he's, he's um, in the air, he's flying. Yeah. <laughs> 꺼졌어요. 파워포인트 슬라이드가요. 아, 네. 그래요. 다시 한번 할게요. 지금. 네. 이제 키워 주세요. 예. 네. 키운 것 같더라. 네, 그거 맞아요. 네, 네. 그다음에 그다음으로 넘기 아, 됐습니다. 
어, 아까 어, 우리 권 교수님의 강의를 들으시면서 김학순 할머님에 대해서 이야기를 들으셨을 것입니다. 어, 저희 평화의 소녀상은 김학순 할머님의 증언이 아니었으면 있을 수 없었습니다. As you heard from Dr. Kwon's lecture, the Sonia Sang was made as a result of Kim Aksun's testimony. Kim Aksun 할머님의 1991년에 증언이 있은 후 수요 집회가 시작이 되었는데 그 수요 집회는 어, 30년간 지금까지 이어져 오고 있습니다. After Kim Aksun's first testimony in 1991, the Wednesday protest has begun and it's, it is still on uh, growing for it's been 30 years. 음, 저희는 수요 집회라고 부르는데 그 수요 집회는 어, 많은 여성분 많은 피해자분들이 함께 그 자리에 어, 지키고 있었습니다. We call it 수요 집회, the Wednesday protests and it is participated by many survivors, many victim survivors. 그런데 저희는 1991년에 증언, 그러니까 피해자가 증언함으로 인해서 가해자가 어, 사죄하고 배상하는 줄 알았습니다. 그러나 그러지 않았다는 것을 2011년에 알게 되었습니다. We, uh, we thought the um, Kim Aksu made the first testimony in 1991. We thought um, uh, the assailants made apology and made reparation. However, we realized that in 2011, that did not happen. 2011년 1월 즈음에 어, 수요 집회를 하시는 모습을 목격하고 너무나 저희 입장에서는 어, 몰랐, 그러니까 여지까지 알, 알지 못했던 부분, 너무나, 너무나 죄송해서 정대업을 찾아가게 됩니다. 그래서 정대업을 찾아가서 뭐라도 저희 작가로서 무엇인가라도 함께 하고 싶다고 말씀드렸고 어, 그때가 근데 때마침 천차 수요 집회를 앞두고 있어서 저희가 평화 비라는 어, 비석 같은 그런 조형물부터 디자인하기 시작했습니다. In January 2011, we happened to witness the Wednesday protest, and we felt sorry for not uh, being aware of the situation until now. So we uh, we went to Jongdaehyeop, the Korean consul, and then we expressed our, uh, um, our desire to do something as an artist. And we learned that they were having the 10,000 Wednesday protest coming up soon and they were looking for the memorial stone. So we started to design the memorial stone. 처음에는 음, 비석 같은 것을 디자인하기 시작했기 때문에 자그마한 비라든가 아니면 고무 신만 놓는다거나 빈 의자만 놓을까 여러 가지 구상을 하고 있었습니다. 그런데 일본 정부는 한국 세우는 피해자의 상징물조차도 세우지 못하게 압력을 가했습니다. 그래서 저희는 저희가 잘할 수 있는 조각으로 표현하고자 했습니다. We in the beginning we were um, we were thinking of a stone, something like those uh, memorial stone, and or something like um, uh, shoes, Korean shoes, or empty chair. We th thought of many designs. However, the Japanese government were uh, giving pressure not to install anything related to the symbol of the uh, victims. Therefore, we turned to design sculpture that we that which is our um, specialty. 그래서 할머님들이 투쟁한 모습이나 그러니까 어, 여지까지 할머님들이 그 자리를 지키었기 때문에 어, 할머님들이 투쟁하시는 모습 이런 음, 그런 디자인을 시작했는데 곰곰이 생각해 보니까 할머님이 피해 당했던 게 아니라 어린 소녀가 그리고 어린 어, 여성이 어, 젊은 여성이 피해를 당했기 때문에 그냥 소녀만 그 자리에 할머님 대신 앉아 있어도 충분히 이 우리의 이야기를 전달할 수 있다고 생각을 했습니다. Um, we in the beginning we um, because we 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 were thinking about uh, the grandmothers because we've seen those grandmothers in protest. However, we thought that it's not these grandmother who uh, were victimized at the time. It was it was the, the younger young women were. Um, uh, were victimized. Therefore, we thought instead of these grandmothers in protest, even if this, this, a, stat, um, a shape of a young girl sitting 
on the protest side will deliver our story enough. 지금 보시는 거는 처음에 소녀상을 어, 제가 디자인한 어, 초안입니다. 이 초안을 시작으로 어, 지금의 소녀상의 모습으로 발전하게 된 것입니다. This is our first draft design of the statue of comfort woman. From this first draft, we developed the current day 소녀상. 이 모습인데요. 어, 소녀상은 소녀상이 있고 그다음에 옆에 비늘자가 있고 뒤에 그림자가 있습니다. 그렇게 하나의 어, 전체적인 형상이 어, 제작되었습니다. The, this is the final 소녀상. It is composed of three components: the girl, uh, the empty chair, and um, the shadow of the girl. 음, 2011년 12월 14일에 천차 수요 집회를 앞두고 어, 천차 수, 수요 집회 제작이 되었는데 이 소녀상은 하나 하나 상징을 저희가 담았습니다. We made it. We made the statue uh, to be unveiled for the 1,000th Wednesday protests to be held on um, uh, in December 2011, and then we tried to put symbols in it. 손, 어, 어린 시절을 빼앗긴 그녀들의 이야기를 담고자 했으며 어, 그녀들이 이 땅에 간신히 돌아와서도 어, 가족과 나라의 편견 속에서 외면받고 살았던. 그런 고통의 역사 그리고 1992년부터 시작한 투쟁의 역사 그리고 그녀들이 꿈꿨던 평화에 대한 메시지를 담고자 했습니다. There are these stories. One, uh, the stories of this woman who, whose uh, the time of youth was drive of, uh, who were uh, taken away. And second, the history of their struggles. They, when they returned to home, they were isolated, alienated in within their family and the nation due to prejudice. Also, the history of these survivors' uh, protest from 1992. Lastly, the message of peace that these women uh, aspired for. 소녀상은 일본 대사관 저 음, 빨간 벽돌이 일본 대사관입니다. 그 앞을 바라보고 있어야만 했습니다. 그래서 어린 소녀지만 당당한 모습으로 표현하고자 했습니다. That uh, red brick building is the Japanese embassy in Seoul in Korea. So we um, we wanted to have that statue to look in look directly. At the the embassy, therefore, we wanted to express the the younger in um, in the sh uh, in uh, in the shape of uh, with will, her own will. 소녀상의 머리카락은 지금 보시는 것과 같이 어, 거칠게 잘 이어진 머리카락으로 표현되었습니다. 그것은 나의 의지가 아닌 타인의 의지로서 어, 의지로 어, 국가와 어, 가족의 인연을 끊김을 표현, 표현한 것입니다. The short, roughly cut hair represents the discontinuation or the disconnection from uh, her own family and the nation, not by her own will, but um, by uh, others' will. 그리고 어깨에 있는 새는 자유와 평화를 상징하기도 하지만 돌아가신 할머님과 살아계신 할머님을 연결해 주기를 바라는 저희 마음을 담았습니다. The bird perched on her shoulder represents um, freedom and peace, but also our hope to connect us, connect the statue to those victims, those grandmothers who passed away. 소녀산의 어, 손이 처음에는 다소곳한 손이었는데 저렇게 주먹을 쥐게 되었습니다. 저 주문은 어, 우리 땅에 세우는 피해자의 상징물조차도 인정하지 않는 가해자들에 의해서 끝까지 할머님들의 기, 역사를 기억하는 작가들의 의지와 약속의 의미입니다. The clench, um, the girl's fist in clench represents uh, the promise and the will of the artist to 
to remember and then continue their this his, um, continue remembering this history and also as um, um, resistance against uh, the salient who are not even allowing the symbol of the victims to be installed in our own country. 그리고 보시는 바와 같이 어 다른 맨발입니다. 그리고 뒤꿈치가 들려 있는데 이 맨발은 어 그동안 고통받았던 그녀, 그녀들의 역사를 표현한 것이고요. 저 뒤꿈치가 들리는 아직도 회복되지 않은 명예를 표현한 것입니다. As you see, her um, the statue's feet are lifted from the floor. It represents the history of their suffering, and also the current situation when their wish, when their resent is not fully resolved. 그리고 소녀상의 어, 뒤에 그림자는 이렇게 할머니 모습입니다. 저렇게 파편화된 모자이크로 표현되었는데 이것 또한 할머님들의 고통의 어, 흔적을 표현한 것입니다. The shadow it represents the grandmothers and um, the victims, and we use the fragmented uh, stone as mosaic in order to show the struggles and suffering of these grandmothers. 가슴에 하얀 나비는 돌아가신 할머님들이 환생하셔서 우리와 함께 하길 바라는 작가의 마음을 담았습니다. The um, white butterfly in her chest represents our hope that those fallen victims can be with us. 그리고 왼쪽에 평화비라고 쓰여져 있는 비문이 있습니다. 이 비문이 처음에 어, 세워질 뻔한 적 세워질 뻔한 그러한 돌입니다. 비석입니다. Oh, that the message in the left is starts from Pyeongwabi, the stone of uh, for peace. Um, the writing was supposed to be in the initial uh, stone, the memorial stone that was supposed to be installed. Oh, 이 평화비라는 글씨는 기로녹 할머니 보시는 할머님께서 직접 쓰신 글을 저희가 돌에 새긴 것입니다. The writing was written by Kilwano, one of the survivors, and we inscribed the writing in on the stone. 평화의 소녀상은 어, 할머님들이 증언하신 그러니까 피해자 할머님들이 증언하신 바에 의하면 어, 13에서 15세 할머님들이 많았습니다. 소녀들이 그 소녀들을 표현한 것입니다. 그리고 한국인이기 때문에 한복을 입혔습니다. That um. According to the testimony, testimonies of the survive, survivors, there were many um, victims who were aged at 13 to 15. Therefore, we uh, made the shape of these girls from the age of 13 to 15. And because they are from colonial Korea, we dressed the statue in Hanbok, the, colon, uh, the attire of colonial Joseon, Korea. 지금 이야기를 약간 어, 비니자의 색인 약 어, 비니자에 대한 이야기를 안 했는데 비니자 또한 저희가 어, 과거와 현재 미래에 대한 이해가 담겨져 있습니다. 이 비니자는 돌아가신 할머님이 우리와 함께 바란 함께 하길 바라는 마음 그리고 또 하나는 이 앞을 지나가는 많은 사람들이 저 자리에 앉아서 생각해 보는 그런 자리입니다. 왜 20년간 30년간 그 수요 집회가 이어지고 한번 생각해 보는 자리이고 우리가 그렇다면 무엇을 해야 될까 그런 약속의 자리입니다. That uh, empty chair represents the stories of connect the stories of the past, present and the future. We wanted people to think about the um, the feelings and, and the thoughts of those grandmothers, uh, the survivors. We wanted people, passerby citizens, to come sit and join about why the issue has not been resolved for over the time of 20s or 30 years. And what, what can we do? Uh, so we invited them to think about. 소녀상은 여러 형태의 모습으로 지금까지 제작되어지고 있습니다. 음... 서 있기도 하고 때로는 화난 모습이기도 하고 다양한 모습으로 어, 저와 또 많은 작가들에 의해서 탄생하고 있습니다. So, uh, 소녀상 is in a, for, uh, a variety of shapes. Some are standing, some has an upset face, 
and it is um, the statues are being created by myself and many other artists. 어 이렇게 평화의 소녀상이 어느 날 서게 되었습니다. 한국에 있는 거제도라는 곳에 세워진 소녀상인데 이 소녀상은 세 가지 이유로 서게 되었습니다. This statue is standing Sonyeosang. Uh, it is installed in Goje on Goje Island. There are three reasons that the statue is standing. 음, 미국에 있는 그랜데이시 미국의 그랜데이시에 있는 평화의 소녀상을 어, 철거해 달라는 일본인들의 서명 운동 그리고 한국의 어, 박근혜 정권 때 교학사 교과서에 어, 이렇게 써 있었는데요. 할머님들이 잡을 따라다녔다는 표현 그리고 또 하나는 일본이 헌법 구조를 없애려는 시도 그런 이유로 평화의 소녀상이 어, 좀더 적극적으로 평화를 수호해야 되겠다는 의미에서 어, 어깨에 있던 새가 손에 어, 지키 손으로 지키고자 하는 그런 의미에서 이렇게 서 있습니다. Um, the three reasons are as follows. The, there was um... Uh, petitions made by Japanese people to remove the statue of comfort woman, Pyeongwha as Sang, installed in the city of Glendale in the United States. Second, there was um, a history, uh, history book revision during um, the Park Geun-hye regime in Korea. There was an uh, expression added to the story of comfort woman as such as the grandmothers, the, this um, the Vic the comfort woman, Follow the soldiers by their own will, join the join their own will, and third reason is that um, the Japanese government uh, was attempting to change the their constitutional law. So for for uh, due to these reasons, I wanted to make the statue of comfort woman Sun Yung Sang in more uh, active active way. Therefore, the statue, uh, I made the statue standing and also the bird, which is supposed to be on her shoulder, we moved the bird to uh, the girl's palms as a more direct action to protect. This is the first time that the statue has been in the future. In Japan, it has been in the past, and it has been in the past, and it has been in the past. 그리고 한국에서는 정권에 따라서 교, 어, 교과서가 달라지고 있습니다. 그리고 끊임없이 외국에 세우는 평화의 손상에 대해서 일본 정부가 반대하고 배하고 있습니다. This struggle is ongoing right now. Um, the Japanese government is uh, is trying to change their uh, structure of constitutional law. In South Korea, depending on the change of the regimes, the history textbooks are being changed. And there are endless, um, endless uh, pressures from the Japanese government to uh, stop uh, or dismant, uh, deinstall the statues being installed abroad. 김학순 할머님 앞에서 제일 처음에 본 김학순 할머님을 만든 소녀상 또한 저희는 평화의 소녀라고 부릅니다. The statue we made for Kim Hak-su, we also called 평화의 소녀상. The statue of, 아, 선생님 평화의 소녀상이라고 부르신다고요? 네. We, we, we call this statue also the statue of, uh, statue of a girl for peace. 음, 김학순 할머님이 앉아 계시고 뒤에 그림자는 소녀의 그림자로 표현되어져 있습니다. The woman sitting on the statue is Kim Hak-sun and the, the shadow behind is uh, in the shape of a girl. 이거 평화나비라고 어, 위안부 문제를 해결하기 위한 대학생들 평화 운동이 있는데 그들을 상징하는 평화의 소녀상입니다. This is the statue is called Pyeongwha Nabi, uh, Peace Butterfly. It represents the um, university students who are uh, striving for resolving the issue of the comfort women. 그리고 남해 있는 박수기 할머님을 기리면서 만든 평화의 소녀상입니다. 이 바, 어, 소녀상은 그러니까 이분은 박수기 할머님은 음, 조개를 캐시다가 강제 인심 그러니까 끌려 강 음, 갑자기 끌려다 갔다고 하셨더라고요. 그래서 그 할머님이 캐, 어, 사용했던 
어, 조개를 캤던 도구를 저렇게 세워놓고 어, 의자 위에 놨습니다. This statue represents Park Su-gi, who was taken uh, from uh, Namhae, southern, uh, so southern area of South Korea. And she was, um, uh, she, 조개를 캐다를 어떻게 하지? 조, 어, 조개? Um, clam. She was taking clams from um, the, the, the beach. And, and then, all of a sudden, she was taken into the comfort stations. She was abducted. So therefore, I put those tools that she was using to catch clams, clams on the side, on her palm and on, on the chair. 박수기 할머님께서는 어, 본인의 이름을 잊어버리는 것이 무척 어, 슬펐고 화가 났었던 것 같습니다. 그래서 이분의 그러니까 집에는 문패가 박수기 박수기 써여져 있었습니다. 그 이유는 어, 본인들이 피해 당했을 당시에 이름조차 없었거든요. 일본 이름으로 불러졌었거든요. 그러한 이유로 할머님이 문패를 여러 곳에 붙이게 되었습니다. Uh, Park Sugi was very uh, resentful and sad for having lost her own name because when she was taken into comfort stations and when they uh, when she uh, uh, exiled, uh, she, her name, uh, she was forced to use Japanese name and she, her name was lost. So therefore, when I visited her home, her home had the name, um, signs, Paksugi, Paksugi everywhere. Hmm. 그리고 어느 날 중국 사람, 어, 중국 조각가들이 저희를 찾아와서 함께 어, 평화의 소녀상을 만들고 싶다고 해서 그분들이 만든 중국 소녀상을 옆에 앉힌 평화의 소녀상입니다. One day a Chinese I'm so sorry. One day Chinese sculptors visited us and asking that they um, want they want to make the statue of Comfort Woman for Peace together. So this is the statues that we made together along with these Chinese sculptors. 이 소녀상은 한국의 서울에 있고요. 그 다음에 또 하나는 상해 대학교에 있습니다. 저 뒤에 중국 소녀상 뒤에는 어, 중국의 위안부로 끌려갔던 위안부 피해자 분들의 발자국이 찍혀져 있습니다. They, um, this, um, there are two casts of these statues. One in Seoul, one in Shanghai, Shanghai, Uni Shanghai University. Behind the Chinese comfort woman in the middle, there are um, footsteps, footprints of those Chinese comfort woman victims. 이 소녀상은 2015년 한일합의를 파괴하는 모습의 소녀상으로 만들어졌습니다. 익산에 한국에 있는 익산시에 있는 평화의 소녀상입니다. This statue was made in the form that this, uh, the girl is destroying the 2015 Japan and South Korea Comfort Women Agreement. This is installed in Jeonbuk Iksan's Iksanshi, southern part of Korea. 그리고 왼손에는 아까 우리 권 교수님이 말씀해 주신 그런 우리의 요구가 쓰여져 있습니다. Uh, in the left, we inscribe the, uh, the demands of the Korean Comfort Women the as um, those lists that uh, I, Dr. Kwon, uh, Vicky <laughs> explained earlier. 그리고 이 소녀상은 고등학생들이 저희에게 의뢰한 소녀상인데 고등학생들이 스스로 그러니까 51개 고등학교 학생들이 돈을 모아서 저희에게 의뢰했고 디자인을 어, 디자인을 해서 저희한테 이렇게 해주세요. 그러니까 말하자면 손에 나비를 달게 해주세요. 이러한 모습으로 해주세요. 의견을 제시하면서 제작된 소녀상입니다. This statue was made by us at, um, at uh, the request of high school students from 51 high schools. They raised the fund and approached us to make uh, Sang in this design, for example, make uh, uh, make the girl hold a butterfly in her hand, and they uh, brought this design and asked us to uh, make. 음, 이 소녀상은 어깨에 새가 있지 않고요, 의자 위에 새가 있습니다. 
This statue has a bird on her hand, not on her shoulder. 지금 이, 어, 아이들이, 아이들의 약간 학생들의 모습입니다. These are uh, photos of the students, high school students, who uh, asked to uh, make this statue. 음, 그, 어, 그리고 이 학생들은 뒤에 또 할머님 한분한 한 분을 기리면서 새긴 저런 동판을 제작하기도 했습니다. They also made the, uh, the copper plates with inscription of the names of every uh, confirmation victims. 음, 저기 어, 학생들이 저렇게 쓴 건데 그리고 이름 없이 희생된 소녀들의 아픈 역사를 기억하겠습니다. 라고 약속하였습니다. And on the left, this is a copper uh, plate with the inscription of those students uh, who wrote. And we will remember the nameless, the, the history, the, uh, the painful history of nameless girls who sacrificed, who were sacrificed. 네, 이거 아까 권교님께서 충분히 말씀을 드렸기 때문에 예, 생략하겠습니다. I will skip the uh, Sonia-sang protectors, as Vicky explained already. 평화의 소녀상이 만들어지면서 많은 예술가들이 작품을 만들기도 했습니다. 때로는 영화로 만들어지고 음악으로 만들어지고 뭐 동화책 그 다음에 음, 음, 음악 이렇게 다양하게 만들어졌는데 미술 네 어, 이러면서 저희가 많은 예술의 창작의 어, 고리가 뭐야 뭐라고 표현해야 되나 음, 네 예술 창 영감을 주고 있는 것 같습니다. Since our Sonia Sang, there has been many artworks created. Sometimes it was in the form of music, sometimes um, a movies or um, books for children uh, it, or visual art. There are various kinds of art created. I think we inspired their uh, making art. Um, 그만큼 많은 예술가 뿐만이 아니라 많은 국민들이 이 소녀상을 평화의 소녀상이 만들어지면서 많은 어, 관심과 끝없는 어, 애정을 표현해 주셨습니다. 그 와중에 2015년 15년에 어, 한일합의는 저희에게 이렇게 작은 프로젝트를 진행하도록 어, 시키셨습니다. Uh, not only art, there are many. Um... Uh, not only art, many citizens, many Korean citizens express their interest and affection to the statue as we, um, uh, as the uh, Sonia Sang was created. And in 2005, that agreement between South Korea and Japan made us to, uh, led us to make a small, uh, this project. This project raised the funds of um, 10 million dollars, uh, 10 million Korean won uh, within two days. 그리고 학생들은 학교에 세우는 평화의 소녀상 프로젝트를 진행하기도 했습니다. 그래서 지금 어, 100여 곳에 평화의 소녀상이 학교에 세워져. 이거는 30cm 작은 소녀상입니다. And there are um, uh, about 100 소녀상, the small 소녀상 were created in um, schools in Korea. This one you see is um, a small statue of comfort, uh, small 소녀상 in 30 centimeters. 어, 학생들이 어, 음료수도 팔고 때로는 배지를 만들어서 팔기도 하고 그렇게 십시일반 모아진 기금으로 저희에게 의뢰해서 제작합니다. Students raised money by um, selling uh, uh, beverage or making bracelets. So they raised funds a little by little and then ask us to make this little statue. 음, 이렇듯 평화의 소녀상이 대한민국에도 무척 많이 100여 곳에 생겨져 있고요. 해외에는 17곳에 세워졌는데 그때마다 많은 분들의 모금이 어, 10, 그러니까 1,000원, 2,000원 이렇게 모금된 돈으로 제작되고 있습니다. 
So far, there are about 100 sonyeosang being installed in South Korea, and then 17 pieces of sonyeosang abroad. And each time, people uh, raise the funds like little by little, for example, $1 or $2. 그리고 이렇게 평화의 소녀상은 FRP로 만들어져서 채색이 된 FRP로 만들어져서 버스에 태워서 다니거나 고향으로 찾아가는 그런 프로젝트를 진행하기도 하였습니다. We also created a FRP version of Sonyeosang FRP mini fiber reinforced plastic and color painted and then we made the statue to be on bus to board on board on bus to go home. Uh, that kind of project we also made. 이 소녀상은 지금 독일에도 있고요. 미국에도 있고 일본 그리고 캐나다에 와 있습니다. This FRP Sonyeosang is currently um, in Germany, one in uh, United States, one in Japan, and also now there's one in Canada. 그리고 작은 소녀상을 갖고 이렇게 프로젝트를 하기도 했습니다. We also made a project using this little statue, little 소녀상. 음, 이 소녀상은 일본에 있는 1인 극에 1인 연극에 출연한 소녀상입니다. This statue appeared in um uh, in a uh, a stage performance in Japan, one person stage. 그리고 소녀상을 갖고 여행을 다니는 분들도 많이 생겼습니다. 그래서 뭐 대사관을 찾아가거나 뭐 이런 식으로 네. There are now people traveling with this little statue and they travel to go to the embassy of Japan with the statue. 지금 이 소녀상이 되게 기분하죠. 이 소녀상은 오토바이를 타고 다니다가 막 넘어지고 이러면서 소녀상이 이렇게 어, 다쳤습니다. The person who's traveling with the statue uh, travels on a motorcycle. So he or she fell on the street so why this is why it happened uh, this statue being a little um, um, slightly damaged 그리고 저희는 비니자의 새긴 약속이라고 책을 쓰기도 했는데 그러한 프로, 퍼포먼스를 하기도 했습니다 we also published a book titled um, the, a promise inscribed on an empty chair and we also uh, staged this kind of performance 그리고 어떤 어, 대학원생이 만든 프로젝트인데 불이 하나 둘씩 꺼지는 그런 프로젝트를 어, 퍼포먼스를 어, 진행하기도 했습니다. This is a performance um, organized by um, a graduate student, and on this empty chair, the lighting uh, placed on the chair is dimmed one by one. 마지막에는 다 꺼지는 그런 프로젝트였습니다. 가슴 아파. At, at the end, all lights were um, turned off, and it was very sad project. 지금 저희가 해외를 다니면서 느끼는 것은 어, 증언자들이 사라지면 역사 왜곡을 더 쉽게 더 적극적으로 하려는 일본 정부의 의지가 느껴집니다. As we go abroad these days, we feel that the uh, uh, the Japanese history revisionist who will um, distort the history, revision the history more and more as the those who survive, those who make witness, uh, those who test, test, testify, uh, if they all go disappear, if they all pass, uh, pass away, it will be easy for uh, the revisionist to distort the history even easily. 우리는 조각가로서 그녀들을 어, 우리는 조각가로서 그녀들을 기억해 어, 기록을 했지만 어, 이 기억이 멈추는 한 멈추면은 음, 이 역사 또한 지워질 것 같습니다. 그래서 많은 분들의 기억의 고리가 되고자 평화의 소녀상을 제작하고 있습니다. As sculptors, we made this statues in order to keep the record, but we are uh, concerned that once the records are being uh, erased, uh, the history might be forgotten. Therefore, we create this kind of uh, project. Um, Philippines, uh, Philippines, 
this statue was installed in Philippines. It was installed within a day. 여러분 이거 어, 이 소녀상은 지금 보시는 모습은 어, 일본의 어, 나고야에 있는 아이치 트리엔날레에 전시된 모습입니다. This statue was being um, is in the installation view at Aichi Triennale in Nagoya. 어 거기서 음, 나고야에서 평화의 소녀상 때문에 3일만 이틀 만에 어, 문을 닫았는데요. 평화의 소녀상 그 전시장이 그런데 일본 분들이 저렇게 각자 가지고 있는 평화의 소녀 작은 평화의 소녀상을 갖고 나와서 시위를 해 주셨습니다. 항의를 해 주셨습니다. 음. Uh, our exhibition at IT Triennale shut down within two days. The, uh, and then these Japanese citizens brought their own, um, the miniature statue of Pyeongwai Sonya-sang and then uh, uh, started to protest in front of the exhibition hall. 일본 정부는 반성하지 않지만 이렇게 일본의 많은 분들은 저희를 사랑해 주시고 평화의 소녀상을 알려 주시고 이러한 역할을 꾸준하게 해 오고 계십니다. Although the Japanese government is not in um, uh, acknowledging the, uh, the history, however, there are many Japanese citizens who are uh, who are sending their um, their support to our activism and then they are uh, participating in this activism. 비니자에 앉아서 눈물을 흘리, 흘리시는 어, 많은 분들을 저희는 봤습니다. We also saw many Japanese citizens who sat down who sat on the empty chair shed tears. 평화의 소녀상은 세계를 찾아가면서 세계에서 이야기하지 못한 숨겨져 있던 많은 여성들과 아이들의 이야기를 끄집어내는 것 같습니다. As we as the statue of um, Eva Ger, 소녀상, um, traveled abroad, we it elicits the stories of many women and children whose stories were not being spoken. 이렇듯 평화의 소녀상은 한국에 있는 이야기만 담은 것이 아니라 많은 분들이 본인들의 이야기를 어, 평화의 소녀상을 통해서 진행하고 있고 그것은 어, 평화라는 것은 음, 한 국가 한 개인의 이야기가 아니라 온 세상이 함께 이루어내야 될 과제라고 생각을 했기 때문에 저분들이 저렇게 나와 있는 것 같습니다. We think that these people are joining, um, joining our uh, projects and joining this activism because the Pyeongwai uh, Sonyeosang, the statue of the girl for peace, is not only talking about uh, the stories of Korea, but these people are, many people are delivering or sharing their stories in relation to this statue. And they think that peace should not be something uh, made by an individual, but the whole um, the, the the whole world has to achieve together. 할머님들의 평화의 의지는 저희를 베트남의 어, 베트남의 어, 피해자 분들을 생각하게 만들었습니다. 그래서 아까 음, 비키 비키 씨가 만들 어, 얘기했던 베트남 피에타를 제작하게 되었습니다. The will for uh, this aspiration for peace by these comfort women survivors made us to think about the will for peace in Vietnam. So therefore, as Vicky explained, we created Vietnam Pieta. 저희는 작가로서, 작가로서 사과를 시작한 것이고요. 어, 이 베트남 피에타는 음, 베트남에 희생된 많은 아가들, 무명 아가들을 기억하고자 그러니까 음, 베트남에는 한살 이전의 아가들에게 이름을 지어주지 않았습니다. 그런데 그 아가들이 위에 새겨져 있었습니다. 그래서 그 아가들을 기리기 위해서 어, 만든 음, 작품입니다. We made the statue to make an apology as individual artists. In Vietnam, there are many uh, uh, in, in infants sacrificed during the war. In Vietnam, those uh, babies before one year old um, are not given names. Therefore, when we went to Vietnam, there were the Stone of Fury, which inscribed uh, uh, those killed without names. Therefore, we made the statue to, as a remembrance for them. 
베트남에는 고엽제 피로 인해서 음, 많은 아가들이 태어나지도 못하고 죽, 그, 그러니까 전쟁 이후에 죽은, 죽었습니다. 그래서 그 아이들을 어, 정부에서는 실험, 음, 그러니까 모아서 어, 뭐 보상을 하거나 아니면 실험실에 어, 들어가 있는데요. 시험관에 어, 그런 아가들 또한 저희가 위로하고자 했습니다. In Vietnam, there are many, um, many babies, many infants who were killed even before their birth uh, because of defoliants uh, after the war. Therefore, the um, Vietnamese government gather uh, those victims, uh, the families of those killed babies, or some of these fetus are being in display in um, those um, museums. So we wanted to show um, sympathy to these babies. Mm. 음, 작품으로서 역사와 사회와 시대를 표현하고자 했고 많은 분들과 함께 공감하고자 노력하고 있습니다. 앞으로도 관심 가져주시고 저희가 하는 행보가 평화의 행복일 어, 저희는 절실하게 원하고 여러분들도 함께 원하길 바랍니다. 고맙습니다. We wanted to express our time uh, and through our art and we also wanted to draw empathy. We wish our, um, our activism is a path to peace. We um, desperately wish this is related to peace, um, uh, this leads to peace. And we also hope you can join our activism. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, Masmida. Sabyong Kim and uh, Vicky Guan uh, for this extraordinary talks. And okay, now we have about 15 minutes. Now the floor is open. And if you have any question, please raise your hand. I'm sure that you have uh, many thoughts, right? Um, don't be shy. And there is hand okay. raised. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we have Harim. Uh, uh, Harim Kim. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead, Harim. Uh, yes. Hi. So, uh, in Korean or in English? If you can, uh, if you can do both, that would be great. Okay, great. 네, 감사합니다. 말씀 잘 들었고요. Thank you very much. I really, uh, it was a great uh, opportunity for me to learn more about what uh, um, this whole activism was about. 음, 소녀상에 대해서는 위안부 소녀상에 대해서는 제가 좀 알았지만 정말 이렇게 꾸준한 음, 운동이 있는지는 제가 잘 몰랐습니다. 음, 그래서 혹시 1년에 무엇을 어떤 어떤 행사를 하는지 이렇게 나와 있는 웹사이트나 그런 게 있을 것 같긴 한데 혹시 그 주소를 이 대화창에 넣어 주실 수 있으면 감사하겠습니다. If you could maybe give me a link of a website where I could have a look at the uh, uh, yearly event or planned event, that would be great. Thank you. 네, 알겠습니다. 제가 정의연 사이트가 있는데 어, 정의연 사이트를 올려 드리겠습니다. 그리고 어디에 사시는지를 알려 주시면 네. 지금 여기 시드니 평화의 소녀상 연대에서도 나와 그러니까 찾아오셨는데 반갑습니다. 네, 각 나라마다 어, 이렇게 평화의 소녀상 연대나 이런 단체들이 진행되고 있거든요. 그래서 지금 캐나다에는 없는 것 같지만 아, 네. 저는 몬트리올에 있습니다. 그래서 제가 지금 생각한 게 아, 토론토에 있는 지를 알았으면서도 찾아가 볼 생각을 안 했었기 때문에 다음에 가면 꼭 찾아가겠습니다. 네, 고맙습니다. 네. 조금 이따 올려드릴게 이게 약간 버벅거려서 온라인 네. 하면. 네. 네, 네. 그리고 만약에 뭐 캐나다에서 어, 행사를 하실 계획이 있으시면 연락을 주십시오. 제가 돕겠습니다. 네, 네. 고맙습니다. 네. 모티올에서도 좀 저희를 어, 애들 불러주시면 언제든지 저희가 네. 찾아뵙고 
예, 함께 하, 연대하도록 하겠습니다. 네, 그럼 제가 한번 알아보겠습니다. 네, 고맙습니다. 네. Okay, thank you very much, Kevin. And uh, we had uh, someone who raised hands before. And was it? Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, uh, we have two people. And okay, let's go ahead. Uh, uh, how can I pronounce your name? Uh, Chin, uh, last Queen. name? Queen, yeah. Should, okay, thank uh, you. Should, uh, go. After um, so you Mr. go ahead, and after you uh, will be Abidin Kusno. Mm -hmm. Go okay. ahead. Um, thank you so much for hosting the talk, and thank you for both of the um, presentation. Um, uh, can you translate? I, I can't speak Korean, so can you translate for the artist for me? Um, I'm from Vietnam, and um, I was very moved by um the discussion on um both of the statues um i've i've heard about um i've heard about them and the first one i didn't realize that you know it um really took a life of its own and has so many different locations and um discussions that follow um and i was uh extremely moved when i see the the two images of the statue um that uh, you know honor the lives lost in Vietnam, and I was wondering if the artists could share a bit about um, how they uh, sort of um, the 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 meanings behind the design, uh, because clearly they um, you know there's the buffalo, the lotus, the the embrace was extremely moving, and because they clearly put so much thought into the different versions of the statue. Um, of the piece um, in Korea. So I was curious about the meanings about the one in Vietnam and also if there were um, interactions or reception or conversations that that follow that since their um, since they since they made it public. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Kim so Seogyeong. 감사합니다. 김서경 작가님께 질문인데요. 베트남 피에타 네. 상을 보고 굉장히 어, 감동을 받았다고 하세요. 그래서 네. 이렇게 그 베트남 사람들의 뭐이 생명이라든가 이런 이 어, 피해를 이렇게 기린 것에 대해서 굉장히 감명을 음. 받았고 근데 이렇게 또 어, 소녀상이 여러 디자인이 있는데 그런 것처럼 베트남 피에타야 상의 디자인을 설명해 주실 수 있는지 또 음. 여러 버전이 있는데 거기에 들어가는 뭐 소, 뭐 연꽃 이렇게 음. 안고 있는 그런 모습들에 대해서 좀더 설명을 해 주실 수 있는지 그리고 또 베트남 사람들과 어떤 이렇게, 이렇게, 이렇게 인터랙션이 있었는지 좀만 더 얘기해 달라고 하십니다. 일단 베트남의 평화 기획을 갔었고요. 그리고 베트남에 어 그때 피해 당했었던 많은 분들을 만났고요. 증언자들을 만났고 그리고 또 제가 정의현과 함께 어 베트남 음어 한국군의 학 그러니까 한국군이 집단 강간을 하거나 강간 당했었 그러니까 강간을 했던 그 피해자 분들을 만나기도 했습니다. 그리고 음 저희 이제 작품을 소개하자면. 어, 무명 아가를 시작을 한 거고요. 그러니까 말하자면 많은 여, 많은 피해자들이 있지만 그 중에 위령비에 있는 아가들부터라도 그러니까 시작을 한 것이고 그 아가들을 대제의 여신이기도 하고 어, 그냥 우리 보통의 어머니이기도 한 그런 어머님이 보, 어, 안고 위로해 주는 모습인데 단지 아가만을 위로한 것이 아니라 음, 베트남에 피해를 받았던 많은 자연들, 베트남의 꽃. 베트남의 바람, 베트남의 나무, 베트남의 소, 베트남의 음, 나, 어, 물고기 그, 그런 것들을 표현한 것입니다. 그래서 음, 그런 모습으로 서로 위로하고 위안하고자 어, 표현되었습니다. 베트남 사람들하고 어떻게 인터랙션이 있었는지도 얘기해 어, 주실 그거는, 수 있겠어요? 어, 그런 거는 구체적으로는 하진 않았어요. 제가 이건 작가의 개인적인 창작물로서 표현한 것입니다. So... I joined the Vietnam Peace Tree, which was organized by uh, Vietnam, Korea Vietnam Peace Foundation. And I met many people, many Vietnamese people there. And I also joined the uh, trip to Vietnam along with the Korean Council for uh, Justice for the Military Sexual Violence. And then we went to Vietnam and then met the survivors, victims and survivors of the civilian massacres and rapes uh, committed by South Korean soldiers. So we 
I, uh, so, and I started to make um, the statue uh, in um, by being inspired by or oh, as an apology for these nameless babies who are inscribed on the stone of fury, and also. Um, there are many victims, but we started from those nameless babies on, on the stone memorial. Uh, and the mother feature holding the baby, this mother means the mother of regular mother, but also the mother of the land. And it, we wanted to express the, uh, and the shape of mother holding this baby and then giving comfort of, this, um, to, of the suffering of the baby. Not only the baby, but also we, uh, we wanted to express those um, suffering of nature. For example, the flowers of Vietnam, the nature of Vietnam, the wind, the trees, the cow, and the fish who were um, killed during the war. And uh, yes. Yeah, but good enough, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 저희가 베트남에 이걸 세우, 음, 저희가 사주하는 이 작품을 어, 세워주십사 하고 여러 군데 말씀을 드려놨었는데, 음, 저희가 그때 당시가 박근혜 정권이었습니다. 근데 그 박근혜 정권에서 어, 저희를, 음, 말하자면 안 좋은 사람으로 베트남에 소개를 했고 그런 것들 때문에 세워질 수가 없어서 어 지금 지금은 이제 제주도에 세워질 수밖에 없었습니다. Um, we approached, uh, we tried to uh, appeal to Vietnamese uh, local communities and to install the statues in Vietnam. However, it was during the regime of Park Geun-hye, the former, former president of South Korea. And then that um, uh, administration introduced us to Vietnam as uh, in negative ways. So for that, that the full size statue was not being able to be installed in Vietnam. Therefore, we had to inst we install the, that full-size statue on Jeju Island in Korea. 네, 끝입니다. 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. Uh, okay. Um, I guess, I mean, this is wonderful. This is incredible. Uh, it's very uh, effective, uh, the artwork. Um, I am particularly struck by the, the empty chair. Uh, the empty chair, if I may make this free interpretation here, uh, it is very haunting because, because it seems to symbolize that one could be in, in the positions of the victim. So it is, it is less about a chair inviting people to reflect or to contemplate about the experience of the victim uh, from the positions of of an observer, uh, but it is more like one could in fact be a victim, uh, especially if one is a young a young child. Uh, so to me, that that empty chair, it it carries us to the present and and also to the future. It's very haunting because this could happen again, right? Uh, and so I think, I think. There's a whole issues today, what, what we know as child sex trafficking, you know, which could be a contemporary manifestations uh, of, of this terrible past. Right? So I, I just want to, to invite some reflections uh, on, on why are we looking for peace when the whole thing is still, is still ongoing, the whole, the, the whole past is actually is, is being carried over to the present in, in, in different form. Uh, and, and so that notion of peace, I find it very difficult to, to come to terms with, uh, such as were the victim themselves actually looking for peace? 
right? Wouldn't it be more powerful to, to actually question this piece itself? That it is, it is not a piece we are looking for, but it is the issues, the issues that continue to the present. I may have already overinterpreted, uh, you know, the message of, of the artwork, but but I think this piece is so powerful that it makes me, you know, think about that empty chair being the possibility of of um, of this horror uh, continuing to the present, uh, and and therefore there shouldn't be any closure. So peace for me is a symbol of of, of closure, but I think I think this situation cannot be simply. Uh, you know, close uh, uh, in, in a way that we reach some kind of a peaceful uh, reconciliation. So that is that piece uh, which I would invite, would like to, to hear what, what you think. Um, but again, it's a very powerful uh, uh, piece of work. It, it makes us not only learn about the past, but also begins to, to be haunted by the future, actually. Uh, and then my, my second question, which, I, which is probably there's no time to deal with, is the Vietnam uh, Pieta. I was just curious why, why uh, is, it, is it a conscious uh, attempt to make, to make a reference to, to Pieta as, as we know it from Italian uh, Renaissance? You know, uh, I do not know what Pieta means. seems like pity. There's a mourning. There's a... There's a, there's a there's a suffering in, 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 in that peace. Um, and so I, I still also do not know what is the message of peace you know, in, 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 that, uh, in that work. Yeah. But that work is a bit more complicated but because it is about Korea and Vietnam. Is it about Korea trying to make peace with Vietnam? A uh, kind of an unspoken, almost like framework of expecting that Japan would be doing the same to Korea. Yeah. Anyway, these are just some thoughts. Uh, I think maybe Fiki can help <laughs> as well, knowing that you have you have put a lot of thinking on this too. To uh, artwork, thank you. Should I translate that, or should I? <laughs> Uh, I will deliver Abidin's comments to Kim Seo Kyung after our event. Is it okay? Yeah, sure. Are we taking more questions? No, uh, this will be the last question, and then we're going to wrap up after this question and the discussion. Yeah. Go ahead, Vicky. Uh, uh, can you just briefly summarize uh, what uh, Abidin? Um, oh, okay. Um, could, I mean, do you mean you want me to translate Abidin's comments or do you want me to respond to it? Um, well, actually, uh, it's already now um, overnight. So if you can very briefly translate it to uh, um, Sogyeong Kim so that she if she has any response, then she can quickly make uh, her response. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Abidin 선생님의 말씀은 이 소녀상은 유, uh, child sex trafficking에 대한 얘기잖아요. <웃음> 그러니까 어린이의 성매매, 인신매매. 그런데 왜 평화를 강조하시는지 어, 어떻게 보자면 사실 평화라는 것은 그 어, 제가 잘 이해했는지 모르겠는데 평화라는 것이 굉장히 어, 평화보다 지금 이그 유아 섹스 트래픽킹이 연, 여태까지 현실적으로 이어지는 현재까지 이어지는 문제이고 한편으로는 이 평화를 말하는 것이 이 이야기를 이 이야기의 중요한 상징을 닫아버리는 것이 아닌가라는 생각을 하셨다고 합니다. 그래서 어, 지금 아, 평화와 화해 이런 것들을 얘기하는 것이 어떻게 보면은 뭐랄까 좀더 중요한 부분을 가리는 것이 아닌가라고 말씀을 하셨습니다. 그리고 이 굉장히 이 소녀상의 의자가 이빈 의자가 굉장히 강하고 파워풀한 그런 의미가 있고 사람을 이렇게 당기는 그런 것이 있다고 하셨습니다. 그리고 베트남 피에타에 대해서도 말씀을 하셨는데 어 
요거는 지금 우리가 대화할 시간이 없을 것 같아요. 그래서 평화에 대해서만 평화를 네. 얘기하는 것이 맞는지 그만 조금만 얘기했으면 좋겠습니다. Okay. Thank you very much. 음, 네. 어, 저희가 평화의 소녀상이라고 이름 지 어, 지긴 했지만 이름을 지어 주긴 했지만 평화의 평화라는 이름이 붙어지게 된 것은 할머님들이 수요 집회를 하신 그 공간이 평화로였습니다. 그리고 할머님들이 음 본인들과 같이 그러니까 전쟁을 통해서 내전을 통해서 피해받은 많은 여성들을 본인들 그러니까 본인들이 그런 생각을 하면서 어 본인들과 똑같은 일이 또 다시 일어나지 않기를 희망하는 마음을 어, 저희에게 끊임없이 얘기하셨고 또 음, 우간다라든가 어, 많은 베트남이라든가 필리핀이라든가 할머님들이 지원을 하셨거든요 기부를 하시고 그래서 그러한 할머님들의 뜻을 저희가 또 전달하고자 어, 평화의 소녀상을 평화의 소녀상의 의미를 또 평화의 의미를 더 강조하는 것입니다. There is a reason um, the the street where those survivors were holding protest is Pyeongharo. Pyeongharo here means it's double meaning. Pyeongha uh, means peace. Ro can be a meaning of street, but also toward. So it can mean the street of peace or the path to peace. Or the toward peace. So we, the these grandmothers, the comfort women survivors, always told us their um, aspiration that the same thing never happens again. So they also uh, uh, raised funds and they also um, donated for the victims in Uganda and Philippines, and they support these women, uh, these victims uh, abroad. So we wanted to. Uh, commemorate their will as well. That's why we name the statue the uh, statue of a girl for peace. 또 하나 더 붙일 거는 할머님들이 이제 일본의 대지진이 그러니까 지진이 일어났을 때도 모금을 해서 어그 그러니까 직접 전달하기도 하고 그리고 어, 지금은 일본에 있는 많은 어, 제일 동포들 를 위해서 장학금을 만들어서 전달하기도 하는 그런 많은 일들을 해 오시고 계시거든요. 할머님들이야말로 정말 평화를 상징하는 그런 분들이라고 생각을 하고 있습니다. The another thing is that after the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, those uh, Korean comfort women survivors raised uh, their own money and also donated the uh, money for those victims in Japan. They also uh, created um, a funding for Chinese Koreans, Korean migrants in Japan, and they do a lot of activities to foster and support the victims. Therefore, we think these comfort women survivors are indeed the symbols of peace. Therefore, we uh, emphasize the meaning of peace. 어, 그리고 하나 더 덧붙여고 싶은데 어, 여러분들이 일본의 자이니치에 대해서 잘 모르는 것 같습니다. 일본의 자이니치는 저희 음, 어, 저희 나라가 어, 우리나라가 두 동강이 나기 전에 어, 그 갔던 그런 노동자들이 둘의 후손이기도 하고 그리고 음 노동을 하거나 뭐 유학을 가거나 여러 가지 이유로서 가셨는데 일본 내에서 차별이 심합니다. 말하자면 관동 대지진에 대해서 설명을 하자면 지진이 일어났는데 한국 사람이 그랬다. 그러니까 자이니치가 그랬다. 이러면서 많은 사람들을 학살했거든요. 그래서 지금 아베가 죽었을 때도 어 잠깐 자이니치가 그랬다는 소문이 돌기도 했었습니다. 그래서 저희는 항상 긴장하고 있습니다. 음, 그 속에서 음, 저희가 생각하는 것은 일본 속의 어, 제 자이니치는 난민인 것 같다라는 생각을 항상 합니다. We also um, I want to add a comment on the Jainichi Koreans in Japan. Jainichi Korean means um, those descendants of immigrants from Korea before Korea was divided into South and North Korea. So they were sent to they went to Japan as conscript laborers. Some of them went for immigration to Japan and during the colonial era and when Uh, they are facing many discrimination and prejudice in Japan. When the Kanto earthquake took place in 1923, uh, there were a rumor created that the Chinese Koreans um, made terrors in Japan. So they were, uh, they became, um, they were killed as a result of massacre. So even when Abe Shinjo 
uh, died recently, there was a rumor created that Chinese Koreans assassinated him. So they were kind of in uh, this uh, living with uh, prejudice and discrimination. So Chinese Koreans are refugees within Japanese society. 음, 지금 일본에는 혐한 어, 그러니까 서점에 혐한 서적이 있는 코너가 따로 있습니다. 어, 그런 것을 봤을 때 음, 일본에 어, 지금 이제 뭐랄까 일본이 어, 여지까지 지금 제, 제가 계속 얘기한 일본의 헌법 구조는 전쟁을 하지 않겠다는 약속이었거든요. 그래서 그러한 헌법이 없어지면 안 되는 그러한 사정이 저희 대한민국에 있습니다. In Japan, in Japanese bookstores, there is a corner called um, against Koreans or hate Koreans. And they, as I believe, Japanese constitutional law structure is a sort of promise not to raise a war again. So we, uh, we hope that the constitutional law should not be changed. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, I mean, uh, to speakers for this extraordinary uh, and insightful talk, and everyone for just sharing and asking, yeah, uh, insightful uh, questions. Uh, uh, I'm sorry that I have to close this event, but I hope that this is another opening for our reflections on the uh, past wrongdoings, and then uh, continuing struggle and our aspiration for future. Thank you so much uh, uh, being here and uh, have a good night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 네, 고맙습니다. 여러분 건강하세요. Thank, Thank you. you. Be well, everyone.